Hello. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to uh, this new episode, for our new rock episode, yeah? Yes, welcome to part four in the trilogy. Probably... Because <laughs> I don't know what the trilogy <laughs> is, apparently. Probably the last one, because we've run out of flavours. <laughs> well, we had, until we made another trip to Blackpool, and oh. Oh, oh, we've got all kinds of flavours this time, yeah. five in total. So, and because some of these flavours are a bit, hmm, like that, I decided to call this one Blackpool Rock Flavours 4. Forbidden flavors. Ooh. Right, I have checked the um, the, the the ingredients. The ingredients. Um, there's no actual alcohol, alcohol in any of these. I don't um, put alcohol in rock. So don't go calling social services. Yeah. However, there is a load of e numbers in there. You know, some would say all the e, the e numbers. Oh. So let's start off this night well. So when you go out, you tend to maybe have a. A few cans or a few bottles of WKD in order to, you know, get yourself in the mood for the party. Which brings us nicely onto our first rock. Wicked. Which okay. is clearly supposed to be WKD. I don't know what any of these are, by the way. I felt to point that out. Okay. I'm, uh, very, sh- I'm very sheltered. Bas- well, I should think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, well, basically, when you're going out, you might come across, like, WKD, for example, will do something like Alcoholic Iron Brew. They might do um, alcoholic sort of bubblegum flavoured pop. It's, it's, it's basically like Alco Pops, but for, uh, but for grown-ups who want to go clubbing. So, uh, like I said, there's uh, there's nothing too harmful in here. Um, other than uh, <laughs> the, uh, the bit of text here which says, May have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Nice. <laughs> right. These have actually been sat in your... Bedroom um, for a while. For a while, so oh, and they're all. I'm sure it doesn't go off. I'm sure that oh, oh dear, they're, it's literally dropping to pieces. Um, uh, oh dear, oh there you are. <laughs> and oh okay. look, I have a bit of paper stuck to mine. Ah. Uh, WKD, wicked. Oh, oh, for old time's sake. Ah. Oh, very soft. Mm. That's probably because. It's been sat on your shelf for the best part of a few months. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Obviously, there's no alcohol content in that. So what you've got in the end is just just a sort of a nice fruity flavour. It's actually mm. not bad at all. Mm. Um, what's the text that it has? I can actually tell. Oh, it says actually says. I think it actually says wicked. Yes. Mm. If you can see that, it says wicked. You can never tell. Mm. But you know that's not too bad. A nice sort of fruity flavour. It's very pleasant. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no complaints about that one. Oh, and I've just spattered it out. <laughs> Disgusting. The next one we go on to looks a little bit like um, toothpaste. Looks like a, a popular brand of toothpaste tooth called Aquafresh that we have in this, uh, that we have in the UK. In the UK. It is in fact Sambuca. Now Sambuca is uh, basically like a, like a cocktail, like a fancy cocktail. Uh-huh. That has aniseed in it. Toothpaste. I want to put aqua fresh in a drink and you will let me. <laughs> so, well, that probably explains then why it looks like an like, why it looks like aqua fresh, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that without its alcoholic content, this is just gonna taste like a big old chunk of uh, of, of aniseed. Oh, there you go. Right. God. Let's give it a go. Oh, straight away there's a a very strong smell of aniseed coming from there and I can see that it's actually got aniseed written on the inside of the rock and that's all written in purple which is a traditional aniseed flavour and I'm guessing from the look on your face you're not a big fan of aniseed. Well it's nice and soft at least so that's good. Mm. But yeah, oh god, yeah, that's a very... Why are you still eating it? You don't oh. like it! <laughs> Why are you still eating it? Oh. That's a very, very, oh God. I'm doing it for the views. That's a very strong taste of aniseed. If you love aniseed, yeah, brilliant, but I don't know why they couldn't have just marked that as aniseed flavored rock. Um, but yeah, if you like aniseed, brilliant. If you're not too fantastic with it, then yeah, might give that one a miss. Okay, so we've had some WKD, we've had some Sambu to get to get the night started, and uh, now we're meeting up with the girls for a few drinks, which leads us the back down to um... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> some practice. <laughs> I don't know. Right, 
Moving swiftly on, we move on to Prosecco flavour. Oh, what is this? Tell Bas- us, Father. Basically, <laughs> Prosecco is like the new sort of fancy drink that mums and dads go out and drink. And, oh, okay. uh, well, mostly mums, I tend to find. You know, before it used to be champagne, I think, and but but now people sort of tend to go for uh, Prosecco. It has to, it has to be Prosecco. Um, and having had some Prosecco with my uh, oh yes, Marjorie, with, uh, <laughs> with with my Christmas dinner just the other year, it's yeah, it's all right. I don't know what the fuss is about. It just it's just what will it taste like? Quite sweet rock? tasting wine. Ooh. Yeah, what's it going to be like in rock? Now it's a much uh, seems to be a much thinner rock than the last one we had, and uh, if it has. Oh, it does have a lovely smell to it. Have a sniff of that. Oh. <laughs> That's a lovely sort of sweet what? smell in there. It does, it does actually smell a bit of Prosecco. It's, it's quite pleasant. Let's give it a taste and uh, oh. see. you got to touch your tips. <laughs> <laughs> Never say that to me on camera again. <laughs> right. Oh. oh. That's the softest one of the lot. Mm. That doesn't even feel like rock. Now that is actually really, really nice. Again, like the Wicked flavour, just sort of tastes like really, really sort of sweet and fruity. Mm. Um, I suppose about its alcoholic top content though, you, you're not going to sort of taste the, uh, mm. the alcohol, but that's very pleasant and look at that, I've, <laughs> look, how much I've, look how much I've bitten off. Yeah. I think I'll actually finish that, so that's usually a good sign yeah. when it tastes that good that I'm willing to finish it off. So that one's okay. In fact, I'm going to finish yours off as well. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Now it's starting to get a little bit heavy into the night. We've had a few drinks. Now we've gone to a club. And uh Someone's decided to order some Jaeger bombs. Oh. You familiar with Jaeger bombs? I get what they are. Oh okay. Basically it's another sort of sort of very strong cocktail made with uh, a, 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 an alcoholic drink called Jaegermeister. Right, there's nothing written on the end this time. And again it's a uh, it's a much thinner rock. But it's very sticky, this one. It's a, break, it's a lot stickier than the other one. Oh, I'm just right. That's broke quite easily. <laughs> right. Jägermeister, let's give it a go. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's quite... Sh- mm. Now that does have a bit more of a kick to it. Mm. There's definitely a hint of, Ye- uh, of Jäger in there. Um, I don't know. Not a strong kick, obviously, because it's uh, it's been you know there's no, there's no sort of alcoholic sort of content in there, but it's really, uh, really kind of bitter actually. Do you find it a bit bitter? Yes, yeah, bit. Do yeah. you find it a little bit unpleasant? It's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There there is, is, it's not as bad as the um, sabuco, but it's kind of like. Yeah. There is a bit of a bitter aftertaste afterwards. It's not yeah. too bad when you first bite into it, but then as you carry on chewing, it's like. Yeah. And yeah, it, it keeps going. Oh. oh. And the aftertaste seems to get worse the longer you go on. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish that. We come on to the fifth and final flavour. Oh no! And somewhere on the line, the night out has taken a turn for the worse. You've gone back to your place, and you met a mysterious man in a trench coat. <laughs> it's weird. Right, it's Bob Valley in disguise. I'm very, just very carefully checking this. Again, yeah, if it's sold up like a black full pier, I doubt it's going to be like an edible. I know, but <laughs> it's best to just be on the safe side. So yes, this is ganja rock. Now it doesn't say ganja flavoured rock. Um, I don't know what weed tastes like. Like all the others, you know, you've got prosecco flavour, you've got sambuca flavour. It'll probably just be like fruit, honestly. So this but isn't it's yeah, coloured in Jamaican colours. It do, yeah, that's it. It's very, it's a very colourful stick of rock. It uses the colours of Jamaica. Because, you know, Jamaica will never be synonymous with anything other than weed. <laughs> <laughs> you can win every single to be honest, big gold medal in you. To be honest, it. you go down the markets, right, in Blackpool and other places like that, yeah. and you tend to get, like, lots of gentlemen there with dreadlocks selling hoodies and T-shirts with... Um, well, yeah, that's that's become a big with, thing with right that now. on, you know. Yeah. So you know, you're not doing the stereotype much, much, much favors, I don't think. Oh. So yeah, a very brightly coloured rock, quite a, a, a thicker one. We've sort of gone back to it being about as thick as the. Uh, it's, it says something in the middle. As the WKD one. Can you see what it says in the middle? Because I think it'll say what actually. It actually says Ganja Rock. Oh, oh, never mind. In the middle, I don't know if you can. 
see that. So I'm guessing this is just going to be another sort of fruity flavour like the uh, yeah. Wicked one. Let's give it a go. That's a guess if I collapse. <laughs> You're not going to collapse if anything. In fact, we'll eat this right and then we'll cut back to about 10-15 minutes later and we'll see if we start giggling. Wow. Right, well, I'm getting a hint of strawberry there. Give really a taste of that. Mm -hmm. It's just actually it's just strawberry. I'm getting a hint of apple there. In fact, I'm probably getting a hint of all the flavours that correspond with those colours. I won't surprise me if I get like a lem lemon sort of aftertaste afterwards. Or a banana. Or a banana, yeah. No, yeah, it's lemon. You taste yeah. lemon? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> See, it's just fruit. Well, unless weeds taste like lemons, I would <laughs> Ooh, we're being... So, yeah. You've got kids walking <laughs> walking through Blackpool eating ganja rock. Oh yeah, I'm so cool and edgy. It's like, you're not, mate. You're eating strawberry and apple and lemon flavoured rock. You're not a badass. Yeah. Honestly, making, ridiculous. Honestly, making weed jokes. People are bit share and do cocaine like the rest. <laughs> okay, so let's do a roundup then. You've had a palate cleanser there. Yeah. So, number five, the bottom of the barrel has got to be the Sambuca flavoured. It's, still, it's, it's the, a bit crap. It's one of the flavours that we didn't finish off, although that's probably more down to the fact that neighbour of us are really keen on our seed. Yeah, but I mean, if you like the taste of toothpaste, you weird person. <laughs> <laughs> if, sure. you like, if you like aniseed, just get aniseed flavoured rock, because that's essentially what that no, is. No, it is literally aniseed flavoured rock, we've just put a special little thing on it. Yeah. Um, next up on the list is probably going to be the uh, the Jaeger bomb flavour. This is all horrible. Uh, yeah. It does have like a nasty bitter aftertaste. Um, from there, I'd say it's probably going to be a cross between um, these two, the Wicked and the Ganja. I'd say that one's probably the third because it doesn't really taste of anything. Well, I think that has, that has more of a... Okay, you think that one's more fruity? That's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's just try it. Hmm? Oh, I'm just going to be paper. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that one's, a, that one's more pleasant. You're taking two sticks at once, sir. <laughs> You're grasping one in each hand. <laughs> so yeah, that number three, and uh, that at number four. Two. Two. <laughs> How much of that did we eat? And um, at number one is the Prosecco flavour, which is just a really nice flavour, and is one that we've actually eaten all of it. We've actually finished all of it. So that is it for another video of our Blackpool novelty flavoured Sticks of Rock. Yeah. Episode number yeah, four. You said sticks. Um, <laughs> you all right? No, I'm fine. Well, well. <laughs> so uh, no doubt uh, at some point we might end up making another trip to Blackpool or some other seaside resort. In which case they'll probably end up being a part five to the trilogy. But until next what time, is Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> until then, I. <laughs> I'm the big daddy D. I'm the little daddy E. <laughs> we'll see you later. All right. Uh, yeah. So, we, we tried bringing it back, we tried having more disgusting ones, you got two kind of bad ones, you got three eh ones. <laughs> and now you know. Do, do us a favour, right? Black. Can you go out and get some ob knobs for us? How many? Oh, as many as you can get, mate. <laughs> <laughs>